In this tutorial, we'll talk about how you can uncover your own leadership style. It's important to positively identify the traits that will determine the kind of leader you are. So, the question you want to ask yourself is, what type of leadership do I possess? Let's take a look at the following. For example, let's say that you are the founder and CEO of a startup. As the COVID-19 pandemic is winding down, you're considering whether or not your company can continue going remote only, or if you want to adopt a hybrid work schedule where people can work from home for much of the week and be in the office for just a few days. If you want to get your employees involved and have a voice in the matter, you could have a leadership style known as democratic leadership. You still have authority over the company and handle the day-to-day -day operations, yet you want to hear what your employees have to say about the major changes in company policy or the way the business operates and so on. So it's always a good idea to survey what your employees want. Are they happy with the remote setting? Would they be fine with a hybrid work model where they can spend at least one day a week at the office? Next, let's say you make the decision and terminate remote work. Everyone is back at the office and that decision is final and no one gets a say on the matter. This is an example of autocratic leadership. This is common in certain industries such as the government or the military. You either follow those orders or you will be punished. Now, this may work in some industries, but in a majority of the business world, this can be a type of leadership that isn't going to win over too many people. The next leadership type that we'll be looking at is a complete 180 of autocratic leadership, but is different from democratic leadership. If you're someone that places your trust in employees to get the job done without any kind of guidance, you may be a laissez-faire leader. This is also a leader who trusts the employees to make most decisions. However, when it comes to the decisions vital to your company, you still have the authority to make them. But again, you may want to defer to that aspect of democratic leadership and let employees in on what could change. If you are a leader that wants people to be happy on either side, you may be a diplomatic leader. You possess a trait where either party is happy and negotiation is involved. If you are excellent at solving problems, this might be the kind of leadership that will be right up your alley. But problem solving should be a skill for every leader. Now, finally, let's take a look at this last leadership style. Are you someone that rewards good work and punishes bad work? If so, that's transactional leadership. You give them something in return for the work that they do, whether that's good or bad. It's a straightforward kind of leadership that works in plenty of industries and is prevalent in pro sports. If you're a star baseball player that hasn't hit home runs or continues to make errors when you're an outfielder or a baseman, you're going to get benched. If you perform well, then you get more playing time. Make sense? We hope this tutorial has been helpful and I encourage you to take time to think about what leadership traits will match the style that best suits you. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.